Hola, hello guys, I'm Alba Scaglio, a painter from Spain and I'm so glad to be part of uh, this event and uh, uh, I can't wait to participate in this collaboration project with such a uh, different international artist. So let's celebrate together uh, this 10th anniversary of Instinct. Uh, thank you for all the support and see you soon in Singapore. I think the idea of pairing artists from other countries with artists from Singapore is a fantastic idea. And I think it's in keeping with the spirit of collaboration that Instinct has uh, a history of. Um, when I think of Instinct, I think of the collaboration that we did at Coney Island. That was uh, an incredible experience in my life. And I think that it will embody the spirit of youth and freshness that Instinct has um, in combination with the kind of uh, professionalism and sophistication that Instinct also uh, always has. Well, this project is really amazing because, you know, most of the artists, you know, they fly all the way here uh, and it's being paid by themselves. So I guess that uh, we need some uh, support for this uh, project. So I hope that you can contribute some funds to the projects and then perhaps get some you know, our artworks and then uh, have a good collection of the 10 artists. Please support us, Instinct 10. Thank you. Uh, I think this event is a very good for 它并不是属于那种我们只是去欣赏画在这一次的活动最大的优点就在于我们在平时生活当中的一些创作的融合这个是一般艺术家是很难有一种像这种类型的接触所以对我来说是一个比较好的机会 Why should you contribute to this project? Because you may get a chance to have a dinner with the artist, you may get like a beautiful print, uh, limited editions that are for this project only, um, and most of all you're contributing to a project that's lots of fun. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Natalia Ludmila, soy artista visual y soy de México. Estaré participando en la celebración de los 10 años de Instinct. Este proyecto es muy importante para mí, y muy interesante también, ya que me da la oportunidad de volver a Singapur después de dos años y también de colaborar con otros artistas de, de Singapur y de otras partes del mundo. También me gustaría tomarme el tiempo para agradecerles a todos su apoyo y su dedicación a este proyecto, ya que sin eso hubiese sido un camino un poquito más rocoso. Y bueno, los veo a todos en Singapur en unos meses. ¡Hasta luego! Besos y abrazos. ¡Chao! The most important question is what is the value of collaboration to you? What's the value of collaboration, collaboration to, to me? Mm. Mm, I feel that in every collaboration that I've done in the past, I always learn something new for, from the, the other artists. So every experience is quite enriching in a way. So I, I know that you mentioned um, the project in Landava, Sumia. So what actually inspired you to actually want to apply for universities? Was that the very first collaboration project you went for? That one is not the first collaboration I've done, but it's the first um, collaborative residency, like um, in 10 short days. In 10 short days? Yeah, in 10 short days. Yeah. So, what was the first collaboration that you did? First collaboration... I think the first collaboration I did was when I was in San Francisco Art Institute. I was painting with Kim, um, a artist from US. So we were we went to a studio, my studio, one day and then we, we just blast the music and then we bought like many pieces of paper and then we just painted together. So that was the first experience of collaborating with another artist and it was spontaneous and it was very it was it was spontaneous in a way but we planned to do the collaboration and then we we bought all the materials and then we just went for it 
And yeah. it was was it uh, inspired by anything in particular, or it's just the idea of wanting to try to do something? Because um, I think that uh, we both really like each other's work, so that's why we wanted to collaborate. And how was the process like? The process is very spontaneous, you know, and we we were just painting, and you know, we put a lot of pieces on the wall and a few pieces on the floor, and then so. Each of us work on different um, works at different uh, uh, at different times, and then we kind of switch positions, and then we painted over each other's work. Yeah, painted over each other's works, and the end result was uh, a series the end, of paintings. Yeah, the end result was a series of paintings, um, mixed media using uh, oil sticks, uh, charcoal, watercolor, ink, acrylic paint. Yeah. So very mixed media. And were yeah. both of you happy with the results? Yeah, we were very happy with the results. Yeah, I still kept the works till today. So they are somewhere like in yeah, your they studio. Are, yeah, I think some are here and then some are in the studio. Some are in the studio. So from that, th basically, uh, that opened your mind to collaboration, and from then on, you you had yeah, your own. Yeah, I mean, because I had a really positive and fun experience, so I continued um, collaborating with different artists. So yeah, since then. So that was, I think, in year 2000. So what was the most uh, positive part of having a collaborative residency as compared to just a normal collaboration like on a regular basis? I think that um, the idea of, of doing a sh like this 10 days uh, collaborative residency is very in is intense and because we spend so much time with each other that you really get to know the rest of the artists very well. Yeah, over the course of the 10 days and the friendship that you form because of these 10 days is also I mean lasted till now so that was in 2008 and then now it's 2014 but we still I mean up till today we I still kept in touch with the artists that I got to know from that residency so yeah it has been very fruitful and enriching